Thanks for joining us at Celebrating Act Two. This is Art and John, and we'd like to go to the movies and the TVs on the Vintage Film Channel. And so John and I are going to talk about another really fun uh, film that we watched uh, uh, this last week and uh, tell you all about it. But it's a, it's a great film. Yeah, as they all are. But, you know, they're vintage films. Their Grace has rescued these things from the... Um, the trash heap of history, as they sometimes say, and she's restored them. Maybe that's not technically the right word, but she's restored them, so they're very watchable. Mm. They they look like new to me, and um, it's always fun. It's a lot of fun to watch these old shows because, first of all, they contain a lot of familiar faces, but it's also great to look back at how the stories were told and the, and the actors were and things like that. By so the way, before what's John, the name of this one? Uh, well, this is Dark Horse, but before we get to it, we're going to talk about it in a little bit more detail. Uh, the reason why it has nostalgia for me, and if I said it was a great film, I apologize. <laughs> it was not a great film. Okay. <laughs> uh, some of them are. I mean, some of them are really good. And uh, the TV series that we watch and things like that are really terrific. And this is terrific from the standpoint. People of a certain age, OK, when I was growing up, these are the kind of program, the, uh, the movies we saw on TV, you know, black yes. and white. They were at best sure. uh, uh, not uh, 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 first uh, uh, superstar hits. OK, this is just they were grinding them out and it had you could see all the, the early special effects with cars in the rear window following you. Yeah. And stuff like that. Well, so we, this was a remember. lot of fun, and it reminded me of, of the movies that I saw all the time as a kid growing up. And, and and that's because this is a B movie. This is a classic B movie. They the studios churned them out. You know, before 1949, when TV started hitting um, American homes, mm -hmm. the the studios would turn out lots and lots of product. The B movies were filler. They'd yep. try to give a big blockbuster with big names, and then they'd have one of these things with uh, recognizable names, but not big stars. I mean, you knew who they were: Philip Terry and uh, what's her name, Anne Savage. Anne Savage. Th these, both of these actors were. Uh, well, Anne Savage was known as the queen of the B movies, ah. and. Uh, they often had sound effects in the back, like your lawnmower. Like, like the guy doing the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> this is a this is a B movie of it. Put up the uh, art. Put up the slide that uh, Grace made. There's there's the title of the, the movie, right. The Dark Horse. That's Philip Terry in the in the slide, and he you know he was he had a long career. He must have made eighty movies or so. And he was always he, he later in his career he did um, did play kind of a leading man, as he does in this story, uh, and much much later he was in television. Right. I didn't recognize him right away, but he had been in a lot of TV shows as an older actor, uh, played a character actor, and here is a young handsome guy, in the um, just returned from the army. 1946. Yep. Is the date of this film. Um, and if you go to vintage, go to, um, let me get this right. It's YouTube slash Vintage Film Channel. Yeah, you'll see um, you'll see this poster, and then when you click on it, uh, you'll have to search for it. This is a, I think it's called a light drama, or a, a light comedy. It's it's only an hour long. It's probably missing fifteen minutes. Right. But you'd never know the difference. No, and, and uh, quite frankly, this was, was an enjoyable film. As a matter of fact, I'm going to uh, turn it on in the background so maybe uh, uh, somebody will see some of the pieces here and remember them. But um, yeah. uh, this uh, was an interesting film in that uh, you called it a light comedy. I actually called it a rom-com, okay? Uh, Very similar. Yeah. And, uh, oh, freeze uh, that for just a second. All right, can you freeze that? Yeah, the credits? I, I, there we go. Look, look, yeah, I got to tell you, Alan Jenkins, Jane Darwell, Donald McBride, you're going to recognize these faces. Right. I didn't know their names. But these guys were making movies all through the 30s. This is 1946. They were in television shows all through the 50s. 
th these are famous actors who supported every movie ever made, if you ask me. Yeah. And they're just great characters. I, I, that's why one of the things I, I like about these old films is the character actors. Okay, uh, the uh, the lawnmower is going to come by in about another second, but uh, one of the things I want to say about this is that uh, it really was a fun movie. I'm going to let it run in the background, yeah, so people see some of the faces there. But um, uh, apparently, B movies were often done even at this place in the, in the forties. They were being shot in six and seven days. Yeah, and um, uh, I read an interesting story about Ann Savage, who was a a star, if you will, in this movie. Yep. And um, uh, she was a pinup girl. She did uh, very involved in uh, during World War II. She was very involved in uh, uh, raising uh, funds for uh, uh, war bonds and things like that. So she really had quite a, and she lived to like, she was 87. I think she passed in 2008. But her yeah. most famous film was uh, something called Detour. Okay. Yes. And 1945. Yeah. Big, big deal. And yeah. that was, some people say it was shot in four days, and other people, because uh, I did some research on it, in six days. But irrespective of it all, this is, think about this movie, was shot in four to six days. How ridiculous yeah. is that? Yeah. Uh, one of the things I love about these old films, and this, is a, this scene is a good example, is they capture... I mean, when was the last time there was a milkman delivering milk to your door, okay? But they capture an America um, of that time, literally 1946 is when the story is supposed to happen. And it's just wonderful to see, even if it wasn't perfectly real, it's wonderful to see the depiction of that. There's Jane Darwell. Now, tell me you don't recognize her, you know. But at any rate, um, if you go forward, let me see where... Uh, I made a note. Oh, go to um, around 8.30 or so. Eight minutes and 30 seconds. Eight minutes and 30 seconds. This is, by the way, Jane Darwell and her son and cousin George. Uh, uh, Philip Terry plays. That's Philip Terry. Freeze it there. That's Philip Terry. He's back from the war. And he's he's moved in with Jane Darwell and, and his cousin. And he's going back to the job he left before the war for the first time. He just happens to be standing on the corner and gets caught up in a a local political uh, brouhaha. Oh, John, you're, you, you should have said spoiler alert, okay? Because, I mean, <laughs> this is a key part of the movie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> spoiler alert. At any rate, play it and you'll see what happens. This is the only action. I think this is the only action in the movie. Right. Unsuspectingly gets a gets caught up in a political uh, brawl. <laughs> and he's well, he's going to go on. Uh, well, as long as you spoil it already. So, so anyway, people well, put decide to put him up to run for office, and uh, of course, uh, all he wanted to do was uh, what was the, what was uh, the. He, he got his job back uh, after the war. I mean, he wasn't yeah. a war hero by any uh, means. He was stateside and uh, yeah. was very embarrassed that people were treating him as some kind of hero. Uh, but in any event, they get him to run for office. And uh, But all he wanted to do was sell, what was, steel plates or something? I, I don't know. But, the, the mat, you know, this was a lot like uh, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. Right. He, he, get, he finally, at the end of the movie, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, he does kind of get elected because he's the only honest guy, you know? Oh. He was honest enough to say, I'm not a politician. I don't want to be a politician. So naturally, he gets elected. Obviously. <laughs> also, another spoiler alert. Uh, just oh. like Hallmark movies, at the end, he gets the girl. Freeze it here for a second. Uh, freeze this it is, here. There she is. Ann Savage. Ann Savage. And she, by the way, if you go just, Google her, uh, they'll have a whole bunch of, uh, which are not too racy, uh, not like Betty Grable, which was not that racy compared to today anyway, but she really was very attractive. I think uh, there's uh, one uh, uh, pinup uh, of her done that made her actually uh, quite uh, famous at the time um, for a B-movie actress uh, by Esquire magazine. And so that's where she got her claim to fame. 
But she really was pretty. She, she, she too, just like Philip Terry, mm. was in close to a hundred movies, mm. um, and she always played. Actually, she often played the the bad girl, the the yeah. gun mall, right? Uh, and always it was pictured with a cigarette burning. What does it call that? Terry. A defense fatal. Yeah. Yeah. So she, in this movie, I don't know her career really well, but in this movie, she plays the secretary to the local... Uh, Tammany Hall kind of place. The Tammany machine. Hall the, kind the of machine. Place. Yeah, the, the, the local machine, political machine. And she turns and saves uh, Philip Terry and uh, they fall in love and yada, yada, yada. But... Uh, here, I think this is a uh, this might be a a different turn for Anne Savage. Mm -hmm. and again, I don't know her career yeah. well, but here she plays kind of a good girl. She's working for the bad guys, but you know, in this movie, there are no real bad guys. <laughs> um, well, it's a it's, and, a, and, it's a B movie. They got them as yeah. bad as I could get them. <laughs> yeah, play it a little. I want to see those the two guys, uh, Donald uh, McBride and Alan Jenkins. There they there are. They are. <laughs> And these two guys are almost like um, a comedy a pair, even though they're supposed to be tough, corrupted politicians. And any of you who were alive in the 50s uh, and 60s and used to watch TV will have seen these guys, if not in this movie, in 300 oh. other movies. Uh, that they yeah, and TV in. shows. Yeah. Re remember, uh, this is 1946. This is one of the last of the B movies. Mm -hmm. In 1949, all these actors went where the work was. It was in television. Right. You know, they stopped making B movies and because they all went to television. So um, do me a favor. Go to, I got another uh, spot I wanted to take a look at. Um, Pick a number. Go to 10, 11, 10 minutes, 11 seconds in. Well, you're really at the, the low digits here. Yeah. Wow. Well, I just, you know, I just love these old films. Mm -hmm. Here's where they kind of recruit her to turn this this goody goody guy, this returned soldier, to turn him around and join the machine. Why? Well, because you know he's so he's so honest, he's so simple. They can control him, and she's she's. Well, Not no, the I, hard... I'm sorry, John. John, you know, your short term memory is, is, is failing here. Here's where they they enlisted her to try to get him to run. He didn't want to run. He wouldn't have anything to do with it. OK, right. so first to do that. And then they wanted her to help him become dishonest because he was beginning to say, no, I'm not going to do that. And then, of course, yeah. well, I don't want to spoil it for you. But at the end, he takes them on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Without spoiling the ending, uh, as if it's going to be a big surprise. Do you have another number for me to go to? I'm really getting into it now. I do. I want you to go to 3621. 3621. Wow. We're jumping. We're jumping way down into this. How about 36? You'll have to watch it a while. Sure. This is the picnic. And he's caught up with because he's now the candidate. Right. He's caught up with, you know, obviously. You can see the comedy version of this. And they're the bad guys watching happily that he's a candidate. And he gets rescued, and they go by uh, and and uh, Savage, and they go off into the woods, and uh, uh, the romance blossoms, let's put it that way. So just watch this for a second. There, here comes Anne. Um, but, you know, this is such a wonderful, simple... Um, film and a storyline that you don't see anymore. It's, by, by, it's the way, by the way, um, uh, Vintage Film Channel, uh, uh, Grace is a film restorer. She converts vid uh, uh, a film to digital. And when she does right. that, and she does it professionally, and when she does that, she also cleans it up. So this was very oh, grainy yeah. and there's a lot of junk in it. But you can see just when you go to Vintage Film Channel, either VintageFilmChannel.com or you go to uh, the YouTube channel, Vintage Film Channel, you're going to see stuff that's actually crisp and clear and not jittering, being, uh, jittering yep. and everything else. Yeah. You can, even I'm, I'm bringing this in live from YouTube into our recording and you can see the quality of it. So at least when you go there and you watch something, 
it's going to be the it's probably as good as it was ever, uh, other than on uh, uh, a film. She's done a great yeah. job. She does a great, oh, yeah. great work. And, and that, that makes it fun to watch instead of having to deal with the scratchiness of the, uh, probably the way it, she, it, she found it. So it's, it's, a, it's a fun film. It's a throwback in, a, in its simple storyline. Uh, but it's great to see these old character actors. Uh, I just love these guys. Uh, they they played the same character no matter what show they were in. <laughs> so John, John, at this point, do you think that we have sufficiently excited people to want to come watch Dark Horse? The Dark Horse. Oh, by the way, just to explain the title, when he finally got into the politics, he was the Dark Horse. That you got it, Dark Horse politics. Okay. Uh, th th thanks, John. Uh, we you know we we let him out of the home. <laughs> At least a couple of times a week to do the videos that we do, but the rest of the time they actually put him in a a cell that has walls on it. Yeah, the dark one. <laughs> Thank you for explaining. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys uh, watch the dark horse. You'll get a kick out of it. Yeah, and all the links and to it the. Is, it's you, only an hour long. Uh, uh, it should have been an hour and twenty minutes, but there was some lost footage there. But it, it won't matter. Uh, 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 down below in the description uh, to this uh, film on YouTube. You're there, pointing to the top of my head. Let me do that. That's, oh, you that's do, right. down below. Right. Yeah. We'll, we'll do a pass through there. Will be the uh, uh, the uh, <laughs> links to both the website uh, and the YouTube channel. And uh, go check them out. You're gonna, sure to find stuff uh, uh, on here that you're really going to like. Uh, we've television shows, movies, and we've got a whole list of them uh, that uh, we're going to be uh, looking at and bringing them uh, these little tidbits and overviews on it uh, uh, over the weeks. So we're, we're watching at least one or two a week and uh, having a lot of fun. Uh, this yeah. is just a fun, I mean, it's schlock, okay? But it is, it's, it uh, reminds me of a time in my childhood when I enjoyed watching these kind of things. I enjoy seeing the character actors again. And yeah. Uh, yeah, it was it was just a fun fun time. This particular movie, yeah. it it it's uh, you got to keep in mind this is over seventy years old. Oh, so, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why we like this yeah. stuff. All right, anyway, folks, uh, enjoy celebrating Act Two. Enjoy the Vintage Film Channel, and uh, let us know if you watch any of these. Uh, videos and old TV shows, and we'd like to have your opinion on them. And remember, until next time, see you in the movies, the Vintage Film Channel. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.